Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 6 of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. So, since we got all the pictures in the last episode, this guy is ready to make us more bombs, so let's just get that. Now we have 12. Now we're just gonna pick this guy back up again to get uh, more material drops. Now, it's time to uh, go into the dungeon. Frightening Forest. I'm actually going to pretty much avoid using Monica right now. Uh, simply because one of the followers we need to get a little bit later in this chapter uh, requires her to build up a specific sword up a couple levels. So... There isn't really a reason to level up her current sword right now, simply because we're going to get a new one really soon anyway. We need to level up uh, Max's gun a little bit too, but some of these enemies are very strong against Max just in general. There's also a scoop with these, uh, man-eating things. But what's it, what was it called again? Uh, the man-eating grass, yeah. Like, you're supposed to get a picture of the thing laughing like it was right there. But, uh, we're gonna save all the pictures for one video. Just like we did with the, uh, Palm Brinks pictures. I feel like it's just easier that way for everybody. Now, uh, throughout the playthrough I may invent like one or two odd items that will significantly make gameplay much better, but I'm not going to uh, invent everything until much later down in the walkthrough. I'll have everything in one video, and uh, I'll show you how to make everything that I've already made throughout the playthrough as well. I definitely uh, recommend making the aquarium and kind of leveling with it throughout the game. Uh, and kind of leveling fish throughout the game, throughout your playthrough of it. That's just kind of so you don't have to just kind of grind out your, your fish's stats all at once. Alright, this isn't going so well. There's a lot of really condensed enemies here for some reason. These guys are really strong against his gun. We need to uh, upgrade Max's gun up to the bell trigger uh, to get um, his dad to join us in the party. So even though we're going to replace his gun with the Dirac gun a little bit later, which is something that we get for 100%ing the Giorama in this chapter, it's still worth leveling it up right now, getting it to plus 5 and then just breaking it down and putting it onto the other weapon later. We're gonna go this way first. Because we really need the experience right now. Lightning crystals, nice. Getting crystals is always a good thing. <laughs> This first floor always seems to be really dense with monsters. Okay, I'm gonna eat something just in case.
Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna build up my wrench now. Nice. Maximize the synthesis points and the damage. We're gonna leave it like that for now. Okay. It's time to build up our gun a little bit. It's ready to go to the trumpet gun. Nice. Alright, so we need to do the Cyclone and Exorcism one. Well, it pretty much needs all of this, so let's just put it on there. I'm not gonna use it right now, but I can show you guys what the diamond would do. Basically, you can use gems like this to break it down, and it'll give you a lot of stats and everything, or high stats and very certain things. Diamond is kind of like the all-rounder thing. So this gun just needs attack now. Probably when it gets to level 3 again, that's kind of when I'll upgrade it. May as well repair the thing. When it's that low, it's just easier to repair it sometimes. This is the pretty much the one thing I don't like with the map. It's like, in order to see where I'm going, I need to literally block a large portion of the screen, which kind of sucks. This will probably level up our wrench too. Nice. Monica's gonna give us a whole bunch of synthesis points for our wrench right here too, which is cool. idea to save. You know, we basically get 26 save slots, which is decent. Oh no, Max. If that's all you got to defend yourself, it's going to be pretty tough dealing with the monsters of this forest. You think so? I sure do. Here, take these. What are they? Just variety crystals. Wow, all of these? Yep, you can upgrade your wrench and give it some real punch with those. 
choose a crystal from the item menu that and just we already had a synthesis guide earlier. Sounds good. Try it out. And here's a little extra something from me. <laughs> Six more synthesis points. Well, since she was so generous. This will make things a lot easier. They're, we're basically fighting plants, so it makes sense if they're weak against fire. We can level this thing up like super quickly right now. Since we has all since we have all those synthesis points from getting the quick levels while it was the true battle wrench, it makes things a lot easier right now. I have more smash crystals, right? Only only the two she gave me, okay. Well, we'll probably pick up more throughout our journey. <laughs> if I really wanted to, I could put the diamond onto it. Oh, we don't even need it. I could literally, I could literally level this thing up right now because I have a lot of attack crystals, which is very hard to come by early game. By the way, I got really lucky grabbing those right now. But I want to get this thing up to at least level three first. Okay, time to give Steve some give Steve some time. There's a lot of enemies in this floor that give scoops. We can pretty much just leave this floor right now if we wanted to, but I don't want to rush out of this one. I think the next one it is, we're forced to play with Monica. Uh, that one we're pretty much just going to try and get in and out as fast as possible. Casually fucking bombs. These guys do it really fast, too. Since we're here, we may as well run into that pool, get some 
get some healing. I think I already did, but I think it would have restarted by now. Yes. I think it refreshes every two or three minutes, maybe. And you can then use it again. I've never timed it, so I'm not 100% sure. Doesn't really matter, though. Oh, sweet. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> I got the angel, but it literally healed me when I was at full HP. Preventative measures. <laughs> And he dodged it. Okay, why can't I hit it? There we go. damage than I wanted to take. Looks like we got another one over here. I can count the pixels in that thing's hair. <laughs> well, let's go see what's in the final chest waiting for us. Something very useful. <laughs> I'm not going to bother repairing my gear because we're, uh, the next floor is Monica only, and then after that's a cinematic room. So we're probably going to pretty much just leave this place after to kind of leave. So then we'll just have Cedric fix our stuff for free. start returning. Let's just start reusing these saves here. I didn't miss anything from the super early game. Rolling shells. Okay, so that said defeat everything with Monica's magic. Just do yourself a favor and don't even use the armband. I know what you're thinking. There's an achievement that requires using the armband. Um, I know a way. It, it's a glitch actually because like if you rechange the name of your weapon to something it'll become that weapon so what I do is make it the armband right below the one that's required and then just build that one up it's still a very slow tedious process but it saves a lot of hassle and you can level it up legitimately if you want to but it's gonna take you a very long time I don't really love glitching especially to like complete a game but I mean if it's with, if it's gonna make it so I don't have to do something this tedious, I'm just gonna do it. It still works anyway. I actually already got the trophy for uh, having the Island King sword and the five star armlet, I believe it was. And it did. I did do that, and it worked. So it's all right. Just as long as you have the, just as long as you physically build it up to the five star armlet, it's fine. Cool. Maybe we can get some destruction crystals.
The thing with these Monica only floors is they just stick enemies at you that should be dealt with by the ride pod, as you guys will soon see. We're probably gonna end up fighting a Tor. And then in one later, we end up fighting golems, for example. Or golems. Let's, let me tell you that her sword, even though it's much stronger at that point, it's kind of ineffective to fight a being made out of rocks with a sword. Fighting a lot of enemies, actually. Who knows? Maybe we won't even need to uh, use any of these bombs. <laughs> the bombs are a must-have for fighting the tortoises and fighting the tors, which are the tree things. Did I get it already? No. Alright, here we go. Tortoise. Just don't even try taking them out with your sword. It takes literally forever. I'll show you how much damage I do. Four. Just use the bomb. <laughs> you need these. Alright, and we're done. Let's get out of here. So, like, a small part of me really wants to level her sword up because it's so close. But I know that, realistically, it's a waste of time. Time to save up again. <laughs> the Great Fish Swamps. Hey, there they are! The whole lot of them! Hold on! Something's up! Huh? Yeah, something weird's going on. Let's try talking to them. Well, okay. Everyone's gone all weird. The fish aren't biting. What a drag. What happened to him? Beats me. I got separated from my three buddies, and when I saw them again, they were like that. They won't go anywhere, you see. So I'm just killing time with a little fishing. Although, you know what? I'm uh, pretty thirsty. You wouldn't have something to drink now, would you? Mmm, something smells good, that's for sure. <laughs> he wants the grape juice. <laughs> ah, this will do nicely. Just what I wanted, thanks. I do actually like grape juice. Here, you can have my rod. Take some time for fishing, it'll clear your head. It is pretty tasty. back any time if you run out of bait. Alrighty. So, we do actually need to do this right now anyway, because we need a Priscline. I'm going to show you guys how to invent the aquarium. I don't think we have the mats to make it right now. We will a little bit later, but just to kind of invent it, and we will make it when we need to. 
Uh, so wooden box window and fountain, where is it? Right here. Okay, yeah, we don't have everything yet. We can just buy that stuff a little later. Anyway, so you have to have a pristine fish to actually go forward past this place. So you do have to do a little bit of fishing. If you use all of your fishing materials, this guy will give you more. So realistically, if you felt like grinding out fish, you could fish here for a while. We're just gonna probably catch at least three fish though, for now. Just so he'll give us some more memes, Which is a, one of the basic fishing stuff in this game. So basically, it's pretty easy. You just cast your... You just cast the rod into the water. And when you hit an explanation park mark, you just kinda... Nudge your left analog stick to the right or left and backwards at the same time. So it's just kind of like a, a left or right diagonal movement. Oh, well, there's the fish we need. Okay, so we'll do another one. X to start fishing. I can use my left analog to kind of move my cast where I want to. Doesn't matter where you put it, usually. Usually. Okay, so now we just wait. There will be a vibration if you have that set up. So that's where having vibration on can be helpful. We just will kind of wait until the explanation mark comes up. You can also zoom in if you want by hitting R2. And uh, if the thing goes under, you'll feel a vibration. You can just kind of hit it. Did I, did I put bait in? It usually would have happened by now. Yeah, I did. So it should work. I do like the fishing mini game in this game. I like everything that has to do with the fishing in this game. The aquarium system, the finny frenzy. It's all pretty cool stuff, I like it. Let's just wait for that. Move the left analog stick back. Always test the waters. Don't just hold down X, because some fish are bigger than others and can reel up like really quickly. Like you can literally just tap X like that Instead of going from just the quarter inch it did, it could literally go all the way to the top, just as fast. When you see those arrows, make sure to move your analog stick in that direction. Be quick with it though, but not too quick, I guess, if that makes sense. Just kind of nudge the analog stick. I'll put, I'll put it up to the mic so you know what it sounds like. When you see the arrow, just do this. Just a quick little nudge. Quick little nudge, that's it. That's all you do. So that was actually a pretty small fish for how for how much stamina it had when fishing up. I'm kinda surprised about that actually. By the way, you can also buy a stove in Palm Brinks, so you can also grill the fish that you buy and kind of have a never-ending supply of healing items. Well, as much as your bag will let you carry, but it's basically infinite. Hey, here's a bigger fish, maybe. The longer it takes to fish up the fish, the bigger you know it's gonna be. Some fish can literally take like three or four minutes to fish up, but you're gonna have a really powerful fish or a really big fish then. So we got a Mr. 54 centimeter fish, huh? That's good. So I'm going to assume it's that one and hopefully we can hold on to him. Well, we're out of fishing materials, so let's talk to this guy for some more. 
Nice. You can just use all of that too and then just kind of keep fishing forever. So it's kind of like an infinite fishing trick that you could use. <laughs> Well, anyway, we are going to leave it here for this episode, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day. See you in the next one. Bye.